Hello, land investors and outdoor enthusiasts. This is Josh with usrecland.com. Uh, I just wanted to bring a video for a uh, bundle pack. Uh, just wanted to uh, do something for the land investor folks out there, uh, or maybe uh, it's a group of you and a family that are looking for multiple properties or something to that effect. Um, but uh, we have some properties in St. John's, Florida, and we have three of them. Uh, they would be a great starter bundle pack uh, for a land investor that's getting started with their buy and hold portfolio. Uh, or even a sophisticated uh, land investor. Uh, and then also these lots are zoned residential, but there might be some uh, county questions that need answered. So we'll get into it. Um, but first, please subscribe to usrecland.com and then also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell. That way you receive more video listings like this one. I just figured these three properties have their own video listing. I just thought it might be a convenience for you to just kind of uh, go over them high level in one video uh, for those that might be interested in the triple bundle pack. So the properties in question here, we're in St. John's County, Florida, St. Augustine. It's a white hot market. And this property here, St. John's and this one, and this one, or excuse me, these three, I'm sorry, this one, this one, and this one. This property, this property, this property. Okay, so those are the three in question. We're gonna go through each of them, but uh, what we're gonna do, you guys, is for these three, uh, we'll offer you a triple bundle pack for 12.5, so that'll shave some county times three. So that way, when it's done, when the transaction's complete, the new vesting deed in your name has already been acknowledged by the county. Uh, we don't make you go down to the county. Uh, I know a lot of land companies will just send you a copy of the deed and leave it up to you to go down there and record it. We will actually record it for you and then send you an email with all of the documents moving forward for your records. So when the transaction's complete, it's already noted at the county level that you're the new owner and you'll, you'll get a copy of the deed with the county acknowledgement on it in your email uh, in addition to anything else relative that just might be good to keep in your file for your land. So at any rate, let's go take a look. So. These uh, are definitely nice investor lots, but they are rated residential. However, uh, on the size of some of these, 0 0.10 and 0 0.09 for two of them, uh, you'll definitely want to contact the county to see what they allow just based on the size of the lot. Uh, but even buy and hold, uh, there's still value there. Even beyond that, um, there's some other things here. So here's one property. You can see the sidewalk here. This is a pretty major thoroughfare, but there's already power here. Looks like they already have access established to the property. I'll give you an aerial view. Uh, this is probably overflow. <clears throat> um, it doesn't appear to be sewer, but it, I guess it could be. Uh, and then you see a billboard back here. So two things on these real quick. Uh, this is a pretty major thoroughfare. If they ever needed to widen this, they would need your lot. Hint, hint. Uh, not to mention the entire area is white hot. Uh, right now with land sales uh, increasing steadily. And then you see that billboard? Well, I'd be calling the county to see how many of those I'm allowed and then try to work out some leases. Uh, the other thing uh, that you might consider uh, above and beyond just the buy and hold aspect, uh, um, because if I can buy stock and get dividends too, and if I get the growth out of the stock plus the dividends I'm looking for, well, then I'm able to double dip and monetize. Um, but I don't know, maybe maybe if they allow small buildings, um, a smaller building, maybe there's like a small storefront you can operate here right off this uh, with all the heavy traffic. Maybe there's a food truck you pull in here. Um, th there's all kinds of different things that might be possible to you, but definitely contact the county uh, and see what they will allow you to do um, on this property and run all of the ideas that you come up with on what you could do with that property. Again, uh, if they widen the road, uh, they would probably need your property. And uh, then you've got the billboards, you've got access here. I can imagine a food truck, coffee truck, um, maybe even a small uh, farm stand, ice cream stand. Uh, I know it's rated residential, but you might be able to work something out with them and, and, and they will rezone. You just have to go through the hoops with them uh, to see if they'll play ball with you. So that's another possibility as well. Uh, so for you folks that are looking for a place for um, 
that kind of, uh, or maybe a barbecue. Um, we have a lot of barbecue around here um, and they, they're just kind of parked on corners everywhere. So, hey, if the county will let you do it, hey, the only way you find out is you ask. So there's a number of ideas to monetize the land, even while you're just um, sitting on it and holding it for the market to go up enough for the, a profit that you're willing to flip it. Or maybe you hold on to it forever because the other monetizations uh, are so significant that you don't want to get rid of it and you want to maintain control of that property uh, so you can continue to monetize it. All right. So I'm not going to go through the details. Those are on other ad listings. But for this one, those are my ideas. And honestly, I could probably come up with more, but I haven't sat down because we've got so much land coming through. We need to push it out for you so you know what's available. So at any rate, let's move on to the second one. And we'll go down here. All right, St. John's. So property number two of the triple bundle. All right. And this one is 0.27 acres. So this is a, a significantly larger lot from the others. Uh, this one's residential three, and now this is the zoning. Uh, there might be other factors, so that's why we want you to contact the county for your ideas to see what they will and will not let you do, and then if that works for you, uh, obviously great. Uh, one idea with these is maybe you buy all three, maybe you just keep one for yourself and you sell the other two to family members, or you keep one for yourself and the other two you buy and hold. Um, or maybe you just buy and hold one and you keep two. I mean, you, whatever you come up with for the ideas on these properties, uh, it's beautiful because that's the one thing about land is you have a clean slate to work with. It just depends on how you want to improve and utilize the land based on what's allowable, okay? So again, that's a larger lot, uh, 0.27. And uh, this one is, let's see. It's a triangular lot. This is the access road. Obviously, it hasn't been established. Uh, but again, there's a lot of urban sprawl. Here's the lot right here. You can literally see it on the other side of one all around here. And these areas are growing. So we're all, anything coastal is always doing well, um, especially in Florida. Uh, and again, there, obviously there's exceptions to <laughs> local areas, but for the most part, if you're within vicinity of the coast, um, it, there's a lot of tourism action and other things and development that's going on because uh, folks want to develop it to make that money, right? So <laughs> here you go, just a higher level of the coast. But that property... Um, that would be the second property of our tribe pack bundle. All right. And this one is, yeah, residential three. And then let's hit the third one real quick for you. Again, there's individual listings for these. So you can go see those videos if you want some more in-depth uh, play-by-play. Obviously, I'm not John Madden. Uh, Rest in peace, John Madden was a great coach, by the way. Old Raider fan here, even though I'm in Ohio. All right, here's the other property. This one's 0.09. Again, one, we had two smaller lots here, but they are rated residential zoning for building. You're just going to need to work with the county to see what limitations might apply. So um, it might be as simple as you can build a tiny home on it. Okay, or smaller, just a very small scale, single family home, single bedroom, something like that. If that's something you're interested in doing, and then you want to rent it out, or you want to flip it later after you build the property yourself, maybe you're a contractor now, maybe, maybe you have your own handyman service, and it's just something you want to put together on the weekends and flip it down the road and generate a nice profit. Um, this property here, like I said, it's 0.09, so that's a small lot. So it's this lot, 0.09 acres. The other one's 0 0.10, so 0.19 acres, plus the other lot, 0.27. So you're looking at, what, 0.46 total acres. So the total acreage among all three is just under half an acre, 0.46 acres. And all of that for 12.5, we'll record everything at the county for you, all three, because we got to do all the Paperwork, draft the deed and everything times three, uh, because they are separate properties. They're not contiguous, but they are in the same area, same city, 
same county uh, and all of that. So a lot of the good things that are going on at one property are also going on and are benefits to the other two. Okay. So again, the deal is 12-5 for all three and we'll record all three in your name at the county, at St. John's County uh, for free. If you want that bundle deal, give us a call 330-615-2999 or you can even email us usrecland, all one word, at gmail.com, U-S-R-E-C-L-A-N-D, at gmail.com. Uh, feel free to give us a call, and these things go fast, so um, you might, if you're interested in this, give us a call, Do perform your due diligence, contact the county right away, ask all of your questions, make sure that everything checks the boxes uh, so that your confidence is already set to move forward with the purchase. We do not want your money if you're not ready to move forward. We don't want to reverse transactions. We, we don't need your money. We'd rather, we, if you're not sure, we'd rather you not move forward. We want you to be happy and completely satisfied with this purchase. And we want you to uh, rave about the deal that you got to your friends. Come back to us for your own land needs, refer friends and family um, moving forward. So it's not worth it for one deal. We aren't, we don't feel happy if we take someone's money and they aren't happy with the property. So please help us out, cooperate with us a little bit and, you know, dump out what you have that you'd like for the property on paper and make sure it meets those uh, criteria. But the only way you can do that is with a conversation directly with the county. No one knows what your ideas are and what your deal breakers are better than you. And, and the county uh, can give you direct information um, related to that. That way they're giving it to you direct. You can hold them accountable. Okay. So it's more for, we're, we're trying to set you up uh, for success, not failure by the virtue of you've spoken to them directly. And if they change something after the fact, you can hold them accountable. All right. So with that, please subscribe to US Rec Plan uh, for exclusive deals only to that subscribership. And then also subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the notification bell, please. We appreciate it. And also feel free to go through our inventory and take a look. If you see anything that family or friends might be interested and you refer it and we close that deal, we'll send you a $50 gift card just to thank you for the time, okay? So if you see anything, let us know. And as always, thanks a lot, guys. Happy land hunting.